Welcome to Quick Tips here at ChiefTutor.com. Here I have a simple little tray ceiling that I built, or a coffered ceiling. We're going to show you how we like to do that. So I'm going to start a new plan. I'm going to take my wall tools and I'm just going to build four simple walls. And we're going to drag it around like this and Chief will make a box for us. Now if I double click into the box, it'll tell me what my height is. Let's say it's eight feet. That's fine for now. We'll just leave it like that. I'm going to delete this out of my way and now I'm going to use my invisible tool to do my raised soffit or tray area. And of course you can do this, uh, you can see the dimensions popping up quite easily, you can get exactly the way you want, but for our purposes what's uh, done here is fine. And now I have a section that's different than the outer section and you'll notice Chief built a, another invisible wall to attach because anytime you do walls inside of walls Chief likes to to attach. So if I double click this guy and I go into its specifications, I can raise this up to say nine feet. And now when I take my camera view, I've got a nice easy tray ceiling that I've built. And you can deck it out with molding or trim, beams, false beams, whatever you'd like. It's quite actually easy. You can even select right into the room and turn it into a CAD line and turn the CAD line from there into a 3D molding polyline. And from there, you can go ahead and assign it. Let's go to a molding. We'll say we'll replace the square. We'll go into here. We'll go into here. We'll go into molding profiles. And we'll go into crown molding. We'll just pick a crown molding. Let's say we'll pick this guy right here. And we want to say, bring it all the way to the top at 109 inches. And I'll raise it up and stick the crown molding in. That's been Messing with Tray Ceilings here at Quick Tips at ChiefTutor.com. Thanks so much for watching, and you can see many more free quick tips at ChiefTutor.com.